Hi friends so in the last session we have understood that how to express the concentration of the solution in various ways whereas we also have seen that if we want to express the amount of solute in percentage we'll use mass percent or to express in terms of mole we'll use mole fraction molarity and molality so now that you have understood the different ways to express the amount of solute present in the solution today we'll use all of these concepts and try to solve some questions that have already came in our competitive exam so let's start our today's session with the first question which is from 2021 mains exam guys in this question it is given that if 80 g of hydrated copper sulfate is deionized in water to make a 5 liter solution then the concentration of the solution is x into 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter so we have to find the value of x in this friends if you look carefully the concentration value is in moles per liter that means here they are talking about molarity and we know that molarity is equals to number of moles of solute which is copper sulfate divided by total volume of the solution which is also given to us that is 5 liter so in order to get the number of moles of copper sulfate we'll use the help of moles formula because we know that the number of moles of copper sulfate is equals to weight of copper sulfate given to us that is 80 g divided by molecular mass of copper sulfate and this molecular mass of copper sulfate is can be calculated by adding the atomic mass of copper sulfur oxygen and hydrogen which comes out to be 249.54 grams per mole so from this we can easily calculate the number of moles of this hydrated copper sulfate which is equals to 0.32 moles and now if we divide this number of moles of copper sulfate with the total volume of the solution which is 5 liter we'll get the concentration of the solution which is equals to 64.11 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter and now if we equate this calculated value of the concentration with the concentration value which is already given in the question then from this we can say that the value of x is equals to 64.11 which is approximately equals to 64 so the correct answer for this question is 64 guys Now if you move to the next question which is again from 2021 mains exam then in this question it is given that 100 g of propane is completely reacted with 1000 g of oxygen gas then the mole fraction of carbon dioxide gas in the resulting mixture is x into 10 to the power minus 2 so we have to find the value of x in this guys in this we are talking about the combustion of propane so first we have to write the combustion equation of propane and from this equation we can clearly see that One mole of propane reacts with five moles of oxygen. But in the question, masses of propane and oxygen is given to us. So first, we have to convert these given masses into the number of moles of propane and also the number of moles of oxygen. And for this, we have to divide the given masses with their respective molecular mass. So the number of moles of propane is equals to 2.27 moles, whereas number of moles of oxygen is equals to 31.25 moles. Now, from the main equation, by seeing the stoichiometric coefficient. we can say that one mole of propane will require 5 moles of oxygen gas so 2.27 moles of this propane will exactly required 11.35 moles of oxygen gas that means for the complete combustion of propane still 19.92 moles of oxygen gas is left in the container or in the mixture that means this propane is the limiting reagent in this case and it will now govern the amount of product formed that is the amount of co2 and the amount of h2 and again if we see this main equation then from this we can clearly say that one mole of propane produces 3 moles of co2 and 4 moles of h2 so 2.27 moles of this propane will produce 2.27 into 3 moles of co2 and 2.27 into 4 moles of h2 so now we have the moles of co2 moles of h2 and also the moles of o2 left in this reaction mixture now it is quite easy for us to calculate the mole fraction of co2 because mole fraction of co2 is equals to number of moles of co2 divided by total number of moles of the component present in the mixture which is equals to the number of moles of co2 plus the number of moles of h2 plus the number of moles of oxygen so the mole fraction of co2 is equals to 0.1902 or 19.02 into 10 to the power minus 2 and if we equate 
this mole fraction of CO2 with the mole fraction of CO2 which is given in the question, then from this we can easily see that x value is equal to 19.02. And in the question, we have to present the answer in terms of nearest integer. So this 19.02 can also be written as 90. So the correct answer for this question is 19. Guys, now if you move to our next question, then in this question it is given that 0.2 gram of organic compound gives us 0.188 grams of AGBR. So we have to calculate the mass percentage of bromine in this compound. Friends, we know that mass percentage of bromine is equals to mass of bromine divided by total mass of the solution into 100. Here total mass of this organic compound is provided to us, that is 0.2 grams. Whereas mass of bromine is not given. So. so first we have to calculate the mass of bromine. And for this, the mass of AGBR is given to us. So the number of moles of AGBR is equal to mass of AGBR divided by the molecular mass of AGBR. So this is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 moles. So now we have the number of moles of AGBR and we know that when AG combines with BR in a ratio of 1 is to 1, they'll form 1 AGBR. That means during the formation of AGBR, AG and BR are combined in a ratio of 1 is to 1. So the number of moles of AGBR is equal to the number of moles of BR which is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 moles. So now we have the moles of BR. From this we can easily calculate the mass of BR because the mass of BR is equal to number of moles of BR into the molecular mass of BR. So the mass of bromine present in this organic compound is equal to 0.08 grams. So now we know the mass of bromine and also the total mass of this organic compound which is 0.2 grams. So now it is quite easy for us to calculate the mass percentage of bromine present in this organic compound because mass percentage of bromine is equal to mass of bromine which is 0.08 grams divided by total mass of this organic compound which is 0.2 multiplied by 100. So this is equal to 40%. So the correct answer for this question is 40%. Guys, now if you move to the next question, then in this question, an aqueous solution of KCl is given to us. Whereas the density of this solution is 1.20 grams per ml and the molality of this solution is 3.30 moles per kg. So we have to calculate the molarity of the same solution in terms of moles per liter. Guys, by seeing the molality of this solution, we can say that 1000 gram of solvent will contain 3.3 moles of KCl. And what if we have to convert these moles into grams, then we have to multiply these given moles of KCl with the molecular mass of KCl. So this 1000 gram of solvent will contain 245.85 grams of KCl. Now guys, we know the mass of solvent and also the mass of solute. So the total mass of the solution is equal to the mass of solvent, which is 1000 gram, plus the mass of solute, which is 245.85 grams. So now we have the total mass of the solution and from this we can easily calculate the total volume of the solution because density of the solution is given to us, which is 1.20 grams per ml. And we know density is equal to mass of the solution divided by volume of the solution. So from here, we can easily calculate the volume of the solution, which is equal to 1038 ml or 1.038 liters. So now we know the volume of the solution. It is quite easy for us to calculate the molarity because we know that this molarity of the solution is equal to the number of moles of solute which is 3.3 moles of KCl divided by total volume of the solution, which is 1.038 liters. So this molarity of the solution is equal to 3.17 molar. That means the correct answer for this question is 3.17. Friends, now if you move to the next question, which is again from the concept of molarity. In this question, it is given that when 6.3 gram of oxalic acid is dissolved in 250 ml of water, then the concentration of this solution is x into 10 to the power minus 2 moles per liter. So guys, in this question, we have to calculate the value of x. Guys, we know that this molarity is equal to the number of moles of solute, which is oxalic acid in this case, divided by the volume of the solution. Here, volume of the solution is given to us, which is 250 ml. But we have to convert this 250 ml into liters. And for this, we have to divide this by 1000. So now we know the volume of the solution. And also, in order to get the moles of oxalic acid, we know that this moles of oxalic acid is equal to weight of oxalic acid, which is 6.3 grams, divided by the molecular mass of oxalic acid. And this is equal to 
126 grams per mole and this can be obtained by adding the atomic mass of carbon hydrogen and oxygen so now we know the number of moles of oxalic acid and also the total volume of the solution and if we use these number of moles and also the total volume of the solution in the equation of molarity we can easily calculate the molarity of the solution this is equals to 0.20 and also in terms of exponent this can be written as 20 into 10 to the power minus 2 and now if we equate the concentration of this solution to what the concentration of the solution given in the question then from that we can easily calculate the value of x which is equals to 20 so the correct answer for this question is 20 now guys if we move to our next question then in this question it is given that 0.471 gram of organic compound gives us 1.44 gram of barium sulfate so in this question we have to calculate the mass percentage of sulfur present in the given compound. Guys, we know that mass percentage of sulfur is equals to mass of sulfur divided by total mass of the solution, which is given to us, that is 0.471 grams into 100. But in the question, the mass of sulfur is not given to us, whereas the mass of barium sulfate is given to us, which is 1.44 grams. So friends, from this given mass of barium sulfate, first we have to calculate the mass of sulfur. And for this, we require the help of molecular mass of barium sulfate. So if we take the molecular mass of barium sulfate in terms of gram, then we can say that molecular mass of barium sulfate is equals to 233 grams per mole. So this actually means that 233 gram of barium sulfate will contain 32 gram of sulfur. That means one molecule of BSO4 will have one sulfur atom. So 233 gram, which is the molecular mass of BSO4 in grams contains 32 gram of sulfur, which is the atomic mass of sulfur in grams. So 1.44 gram of BSO4 will contain 32 divided by 233 into 1.44 gram of sulfur, which is equals to 0.197 gram of sulfur. So now we have the mass of sulfur and also the total mass of the compound, which is 0.471 gram. Now it is quite easy for us to calculate the mass percentage of sulfur present in this organic compound because mass percentage of sulfur is equals to mass of sulfur, which is 0.197 divided by the total mass of the organic compound, which is 0.471 grams into 100. So this is equals to 41.98% or in round off, it will become 42%. So the correct answer for this question is 42%. So guys, I hope by this way, you got an idea that how to use all of these methods, which we have used to express the concentration of the solution and solve some questions that may ask in your competitive exam. Friends, this topic is considered as one of the important topic because you have already seen that a lot of questions has been asked from this topic itself in the same year. So you have to keep practicing as many questions as possible because the more you'll practice, the more you'll become perfect in this topic. So this is all about the session, but stay tuned with us and keep learning with tutorials.